Kling is the best AI video generator right now. And they've released some mind-blowing new features that makes it easier than ever to create cinematic AI films. This includes a new elements feature, which lets us create videos of our same characters in different scenes. We just need to attach a reference image of our character and an environment to put them in. And the AI combines them seamlessly. In this practical tutorial for creating a complete AI animation, I'll show you how to create videos of the same character and environment seen from different angles, and even more advanced scenes with multiple characters inside of them. We'll learn how to use a lip sync feature to add voices to our characters and bring them to life. We're not here to hurt anyone. We just want to go home. And finally, see how to put everything together in a complete AI animation. Let's take a quick preview of that right now. Please. This wasn't our destination. Our ship was damaged. And we lost control. We had no choice. So I logged into Kling AI and I'm on the homepage. I'll put all the links in the description. There's a lot we can do here, but we're focusing on the video generator for this guide. Specifically, we're using the image to video generator, where we'll be animating reference images into videos. Make sure you're on the frames tab to begin with. From here, we can start uploading reference images. I've got some of them prepared already. I'll show you how to create these references later on. But for now, let's turn these into videos. So I'll start with the cinematic shot of an alien planet, which is going to be the first shot of our animation. Then scroll down to the prompt box and I'll prompt for the planet rotates muted colors. I just want small motions to start off the animation, and asking for muted colors keeps the color palette of the video consistent. Otherwise, Kling can sometimes introduce really bright colors into our videos. Inside the settings, we choose between different generation modes. Professional gives the highest quality, and also for 5 or 10 second videos. I'll increase this creativity and relevance slider a bit. The higher the slider is, the more closely the AI follows the prompts. You can also add a negative prompt, which includes all the stuff you don't want to see in the video. Blurry, distort, deform, disfigure, warp. Once that's filled out, we'll generate the video. And it produces this nice cinematic shot of a green planet from outer space. You don't need complex prompts to create good videos. I prefer to keep it simple, although I'll show you some more advanced keywords later on. For the first few shots, I want to keep a calm vibe. But you can ask for more specific motions, in this case for the alien to back away from us. You've learned the basics. Now let's get into the action and create some advanced videos of our characters in multiple scenes. The story for animation centers around an astronaut and an alien encountering each other on an exoplanet. These are the reference images for each character. This time we'll use the elements feature in the image to video tab to create videos of our character inside different environments. This is one of the coolest things you can do with AI video right now. The way it works is you upload images that make up the elements you want to see in the final video. In this case, I want to put the astronaut inside a plexiglass cage since she's been captured by the alien. Inside the prompt, we'll describe how the different elements interact with each other. A female astronaut is stuck inside the glass cage. And if we generate the video, clean traps our astronaut inside the glass structure. This is a great way to put the same character into multiple different scenes. The main thing to look out for is hands and fingers. Those can look kind of weird and somewhat deformed. Also with more complex poses like sitting, the AI is imperfect. You will notice her legs outside of the glass cage instead of being trapped inside. Here's another example of our astronaut inside a cockpit. The hands are blurry, but the face and the upper body look really accurate. You can use non-human subjects as well. I'll combine the alien, a brain inside a jar, and a laboratory background. And we generate a video of the alien inspecting the brain instead of the exact background of the lab image we attached. But look how closely clean copies over the face. The eyes, tentacles, and creepy teeth all look identical to our reference image. If you look more closely, you can see the wrinkles of the brain look really close to our reference image as well. We can take things even a step further and combine multiple characters. So I put the woman and the alien together, although this time the background hospital bed is not editing as accurately. Multiple characters gets more tricky though, especially with non-human looking stuff. 
so we'll sometimes get weird results between the alien and the woman. And more complex scenes like this can take a few more tries to get it right. By the way, make sure you subscribe if you want to see more guys like this in the future. Later on in this video, I'll show you how to create shots of the same character in the same environment seen from different angles. But right now, let's take a look at how to generate those reference images I've been using so far. I use Midjourney to create the images. I think it's still the best AI image generator out there. So if we go inside the image creation page, let's enter a prompt like photo of an alien with pale white skin, large dark blue eyes, tentacles on the mouth, inside a white room. For realistic images, ask for a photo or even include the specific camera that's taking the picture. And be specific about what the subject looks like and what's in the background. We'll also use the settings menu over here to make sure we're generating a horizontal landscape image. Minjourney is pretty good at following the prompts, especially when it comes to the visual style, textures, and colors of the photos. When it comes to prompting, try out different camera angles. I asked for a high angle shot in this case to put the camera above the astronaut and make her look vulnerable. Describe facial expressions and moods like fear. And add in textures like a dirty and ragged astronaut suit. A really powerful feature in Midjourney is the editor tool. Right click on an image, go to more, go to editor. From here, we can zoom out by changing the size of the image inside the editor box and move it around. This is super useful if you want to zoom out and show additional context for your subjects and create different shots. When it comes to our images, we also want to make sure they have a consistent visual style. We'll do this by using image style references. If we drag a reference image into the prompt box and then select this paperclip icon underneath it, Midjourney will use this attached reference image of the alien as the visual style for any extra images we generate. So in this case, if I go ahead and generate a background photo of a futuristic room, Midjourney will transfer the style from the alien into that new photo. Now, Midjourney also has an image upscaler. And it's always a good idea to increase the resolution of the images and sharpen the details a bit before using them to create AI videos. You'll get the best results that way. So you can right click and find the option to increase the image resolution. There's a couple of different options here. Midjourney's upscaler works perfectly well. But for me personally though, I use the Magnific upscaler. I find it gives better results and sharper details in Midjourney. Just upload the images you want to upscale. There's a couple of different options here like the scale factor. And if we upscale the photo, you can see it just adds a bit more texture to the wrinkles and blemishes of the skin of the alien. Upscaling is an optional step, but I find it does increase the quality of the videos later on. So how can we create the same character and scene, but look at it from different camera angles? We'll be using Kling for this part. So take it the original image of the alien. What we'll do is ask Clean to move the camera around and show it from different perspectives. A great prompt to use for this purpose is rotating lens, which moves the camera in a circular arc around the character. This is basically the arc shot and provides some new directions we can see the alien from. Then using that generated video, we can take a screenshot of it. So we get our alien from a different camera angle. In this case, it's a side profile. Finally, if we animate that new screenshot we got of the alien from the side profile, Maybe we can ask for its mouth to move a bit, like it's trying to communicate. And we go ahead and generate that new AI video. We end up with a pretty consistent model of the alien character, seen from two different camera angles. I'll put a link in the description for a tutorial on all the different camera movements you can use in Kling to see your character from different directions. Next, we need to add lip sync to our character and give them voices to make your animation a bit more interesting. Our ship was damaged, and we lost control. Underneath every video you create in Clean, there's this lip sync button. Select it, and this interface pops up for you to add in what you want the character to say. You can type in the exact lines and pick from a list of voices. But I've actually created my own AI voice separately. So I'll go to upload local dubbing to use my own recording. Let's drag that in here. If the recording's too long, you'll need to crop it to fit the length of the video. And we can preview what that sounds like. This wasn't our destination. Our ship was damaged. Once that's done, we'll use the AI to generate the lip sync video of our character. This wasn't our destination. Our ship was damaged. So then, how did I create these AI voices? I used the Eleven Labs voice changer for this part. There's a few different options when it comes to AI voices. You can generate one completely from scratch, 
or you can use a voice changer. What this does is it lets you upload a recording of your own voice and the AI will change that voice to sound like somebody else. This is the best way to get the exact speed and emotions you want the AI voice to be talking at. So I'll put a, a voice recording of myself. This wasn't our destination. Our ship was damaged. And then over here, we can choose from a bunch of different AI voices to change it to. I like this one called Nadia, but you can choose from any of them. And then just generate the speech. This wasn't our destination. Our ship was damaged. Now, finally, it's time to put all of the video clips we've generated into a complete AI animation. I used the CapCut video editor to do this part. One of the most important aspects of this is finding the right music and sound effects. We're not here to hurt anyone. This part can be kind of tricky though. For the alien speaking, there's no real way to model that but you can get creative and think outside the box. I actually use the sound of glass scraping to mimic what the alien voice would sound like. And for the music, I wanted something dramatic and slow paced instead of the common super fast paced and high energy music used for sci-fi videos. To get these sounds, I use Artlist myself. It's a stock music and sound effects website. It's a paid service, but you can get free stock music from other places like Pixabay. After putting everything together, here's what the final animation looks like. Please. Please. This wasn't our destination. Our ship was damaged. And we lost control. We had no choice. We're not here to hurt anyone. We just want to go home. How can we leave if you have our ship? I'm sorry. I'm scared. We just want to go home. If you want to learn how to write the absolute best prompts in Kling to get the most cinematic looking AI videos, go watch this tutorial right here.